if we vote for you today as president, mm. in your first 100 days, what three things would you change? Agric. I'll cancel the cathedral. We'll turn it into a hospital for medical tourism where people can fall sick and come from all over West Africa to get health care. And I'll also have a policy that does not allow anybody to change education by their emotions. When you fight with your wife, no, come on. So every school child should go and wear red because today I fought with my wife. There should be a policy. And that policy will come from the National Development Planning Commission. The National Development Planning Commission must be, must be equipped and must have the power to set policies for this country that will be difficult for anybody to change. If you take, for example, the voting of DCs, it became difficult because of the, 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 the law that we have in our constitution. That makes it difficult to change that one. The government, the, 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 those who uh, uh, put our constitution together know that if you take partisan politics to the grassroots, there will be fight. It is good. What we are seeing with these MPs and money sharing is going to be worse. And so they left that one like that. And so one, health, two, education, and three, a national development policy that will, that will lead us. In this country, we don't know where we are going. We don't know where we are going. There's no direction. Every government comes and decides that this one was building hospital. Me, I want to build a hand coop. No, everybody does what they have. And Professor Mills, may his soul rest in peace, put together a national, uh, 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 a 40-year development plan. In fact, he put together a constitution review committee yeah. to look into reviewing our constitution. And the, 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 the committee came up with its report in 2014 and presented it to the president. And they made so many recommendations. Some of the recommendations included giving the National Development Planning Commission the power to, to, to plan projects or plan the development of this country. However, the government of the day didn't agree because the government of the day thought that people voted for us and we have to have the power to share the contracts. You understand? So we have to decide what we want to do. And when it happens like that, what will happen is that you have an auditor general who is telling you that you are losing $25 million every year to uncompleted projects because the projects are not nationally uh, 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 planned. It is people's feeling, Emotion. their childhood ambitions. That's ah. what they want to do. <laughs> how, well, uh, how, how would you fight corruption? I was hoping that it would be one of the three things that you would have worked on it, you know, in your first 100 days in power. Especially you looking at the corruption. You cannot fight corruption in 100 corruption. days in power. I'm just saying that <laughs> what measures would you have put in place to fight it? Looking at the fact that the Corruption Perception Index is out for 2021, mm -hmm. and we're told that we still haven't made any progress. We're still at 43, which is still below average. Yeah. Okay, so you can only fight corruption in today's world with technology. Rawlings came to power and executed people left, right, center, and corruption is worse today. He killed people for, for 50,000 for 50, loans. He, people even died for making promises. If you read their charge sheet, promise was part of the reason why some people were killed. And, and, and people did worse. So you, uh, the best way to fight corruption is technology. And a, a typical example is with Kolebu. I have been there. I have seen it. It is sad. You go to Kolebu and you cannot tell in 2022, you cannot tell what money you are making in real time. But go to Holy Trinity Hospital. Everything is real time. The, 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 the CT scan itself should tell you what job it is doing at every given time. So you know that if people, if the CT scan sends you a message that I just did a scan of Johnny Hughes' head, you know that is 100 Ghana CDs. Mm. Mm. So you can just wake up, go through your, your go on to the, to the software, the and then you are done. At Kolebu, that is what Dr. Nya was trying to, to do. But and that is what that brought the problem. With the digitalization of the agenda, which but, is what the president said. That's what I'm saying. You ask me, how are we going to fight corruption? I'm mm. saying that the best way to fight corruption with, in 2022 technology. is through technology. technology. Mm. So that means government is at least making efforts with a digitalization agenda? That is why I'm coming to quickie. So mm. if digitalization is good, I will say that this government has done well with digitalization. Mm. I, I, I don't have to come and sit here and say everything that Akufuado has done is bad. Is bad. No. Can, can, I, can okay. I ask you a simple question? Yes. So your friends, you say with Gabi, yes, and yes. I see you have a soft spot for the finance minister, for example. Yes. Um, could that be the reason you're not too hard on, say, a Japa and, and I released those the things. business mm -hmm. with this. Mm -hmm. I did. Look, Johnny, people must help us to mm -hmm. do more. Mm -hmm. 
irrespective of the relationship that I have with these people. Mm. I was the first person who posted the business registration in some island or whatever right. and told everybody that this is shady. And, and I think that people must... You word on the street is that you are a political opportunist. Yes, it's fine. You, they, you there, should be word, that card. there should be words on the street. The that, word on the street is that Jesus was sleeping with Mary Magdalene. Okay, so, no so Samajit, if you back to Samajit, if you, he got one. But did you hear that word on the street that Jesus was sleeping with Mary Magdalene? Well, I, I say that. I, <laughs> <laughs> so Samajit, if you, has gotten some help, yes. at least from the vice president, the yes. chief of staff, and yes. all of that. What should be running through the mind of the NPP foot soldier? Because they gave it to him in confidence. Mm. He comes public to come and say those. Mm. The NDP foot soldiers were looking for something small to start something small. Mm. They're not getting it. Mm. What should be running through their minds? Uh, God punish them. God punish you. The people, the foot soldiers who didn't get anything. Why? And you are still on social media fighting, insulting. <laughs> Me. You mean Yamaha Hedia? No, no, no. I'm saying you are, if Johnny Hughes is talking against the government, foot soldier will be on social media insulting him. Mm. Mm -hmm. So God, will, God punish them. So it's God that has punished yeah, them. Yeah, they will go hungry more. Hmm. Yes. Look, there's one thing that these foot soldiers don't know. Mm. The leaders of this country like people who are objective. Just that when it comes to politics, and, and everybody will like Johnny Hughes. Everybody. Mm. Akufo, when he leaves power today, mm. the next person is looking for Johnny Hughes. Because, no, yes, now mm. he's sitting on the bench mm. and he's looking for somebody. Who, yes. Mm. So Akufo, unless you and you you engage in some form of uh, how do the how do the police call it uh, on, on, on whatever conduct uh, 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 well, uh, offensive uh, offensive conduct. conduct then nobody will come after you mm. so the food soldier thinks that to get some 20 ghana always go and attack people go and mm. no i can pick my phone and call anybody in this country if they are wrong mm. i will talk mm. against them mm. i will talk against what they have done there is one thing i've used for example every day asamwejan it's my very good friend i was sitting at the stadium when he missed the penalty in South Africa. Mm. And that is one thing that hurt, hurt me. But so is Asamojan a bad person because he missed the penalty. He didn't do his work well. And I will talk about it every right. day. Asamojan didn't have to take that penalty. Mm. He had to give it to somebody else. Every day I will say it. But he's not a bad person. Asamojan is not a thief. Our, our universities are on the brink of shutting up, uh, shutting down because UTAG is on strike. Yes. They're asking for better conditions of service. Yes. They're asking for the same. CTAG is asking for it. Uh, anesthetist. Everybody, about six of them, yeah. groups, are asking for it just in the first month of the first year of the second term of Nanado. Yeah. First of all, what do you make of the strikes? I agree with them. And I don't know why they keep going on strike and, and redrawing the strike. And, no, they have to be serious with the strike. They, they, their conditions of service must improve. You think they are not serious? They are, they, the, the strike is not even too serious. They have to even leave the... You see, you, see, you have to strike so that the government will see that, yes. The executive is increasing their salaries. Mm. They are enjoying everything. Young boys that we know, they are buying houses at airport hills and all. The university lecturer, Nishu Twachia, Wachira yes, I've been teaching for years. The doctors, the professors, and their conditions of service are not, and it's, it's nothing to write home about. So they have to strike well. But what happens to the students? The students are the ones who bear the brunt of all of this. Yes, they will, what happened to COVID? But, we were home. We have recovered. We will recover. Of, of local <laughs> students alone. There are international students who are also crying foul right in, now. In, the, in their country, in the international students in their country, that's where strikes happen the most. So they shouldn't talk? If they, in their country, go to Europe, go to America, industrial actions are there. It's every day. What happens when British Airways pilots are on strike? So they have no case? No, they have case because okay. they have, but, that's, but the, the lecturers mm -hmm. also have, they, they also have a case. Mm -hmm. Yes, and, and, and they need better conditions of service. Look, all these technocrats, they put together policies. If you want a national development agenda, it's by these technocrats. Mm. If you want this, it's by these <clears> people. <throat> and when you put it together, you give it to a, somebody who went to, to campaign to go and implement it. So every day you have all the beautiful whatever on paper, right. but the implementation is by people like Abronye. You have something against him? <laughs> yeah, yes, yeah, of course. Why, what do you have against him? On your correct. Is a party Isn't chairman. Too, Can you yeah, imagine that? A party, chairman. Yeah. Can you imagine that a party that was founded by... J. Kufu, B.J. Darocha, B.J. Darocha, Odoi Sykes, Odoi Sykes, mm. J.H. Mensah, yeah. has a chairman like Abronye. Can't you see that? The, the, look at the, the, the state of MPP now. Most of us joined MPP because we saw people, Johnny, Johnny mm. if you liked MPP, say in the 90s or early 2000s, mm -hmm. because you were looking at the us, elite class. I'm mm. telling you, today, the elite class, are they Duji Tamaklos in the NDC? The, the straight bullet will hit uh, Chairman Wintumi too. Yeah. This triple that you're firing. Uh, 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 you see, there's a problem. 
The problem is that I'm talking about Abronye. It may hit him. It may hit Ousu Bempa. It may hit whoever. Today, those people, you can talk about them. Mm -hmm. Me, I'm talking about Abronye as a party chairman. Did he do something to you? Me. Well, Abronye does everything to everybody. But, but I don't care. I can meet Abronye today. We're going to eat fufu. Mm -hmm. Yes, he's a human being. Look, me talking about an issue mm -hmm. and talking about a person are two things. If you know the relationship between Gabi and myself, mm -hmm. you'll be amazed that there have been times where I've disagreed with him. But there is nothing wrong with it. Okay. On yes. the issue. Yeah, let's deal Not with the with issue. The persona. No, let's deal with I, the issue. If MPP, for example, wants to break the eight. Now, we know that there are three, is there a three horse race, literally now, as we know. Our Greek minister is there, Alan Chermantin is there, and then also Dr. Baumia. Mm -hmm. If you had a chance as a delegate of the party I don't, to select... I'm not a delegate. I don't no, have I said chance. if you had a chance, yeah. hypothetical. Yeah. Well, among the three, who would you choose? Among the three, I would just take the Greek minister out. I will uh, vet, vet and I will disqualify him. You disqualify him outrightly? Greek minister. Yes. Why would you di d disqualify him outrightly? A, a Greek minister. Yes. If you make me a Greek minister... Mm. The, I believe strongly that the northern region of Ghana alone is capable of feeding the whole West Africa. Mm. Mm. We don't like people who come and tell us things on paper. I have planting for food and job. Anytime Nanadu says that he has invested money in a Greek than any government, it is very true. But where are the, where are the, 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 the one village, one where are the dams? Mm. The guys went and dug pothole and told Nanadu that they have done dams. 